Hey hey, welcome back to Clown's Papercraft. Thank you very much for watching. But look that you've kijkt, thank you all. Today's video is all about a cute gift for a reading enthusiast. Use this stamp set, Bird's Eye View, to make a cute bookmark. Not everybody uses an e-reader, so a bookmark may come in handy. And I've also made a cute little envelope that will hold the bookmark and, if you like, a book voucher. If you want to find out how you can make your own cute gift, come and join me. I don't know about you in your country, but in the Netherlands, um, book vouchers come in the shape of a credit card type thing. This is not a book voucher, this is my old train card, but never mind. This is to show you that this fits in the envelope. So you could slide the bookmark in and then the voucher as well. And then I'm going to close it with a mini glue dot. And you have a pretty gift for a book lover. I'm going to show you how you can make the bookmark and then how you make the envelope. And I'll start with the bookmark. The colour combination that I've used here is Bubble Bath and Lemon Lime Twist. I have some more suggestions for you. This is the one that I've used. This one would work really well as well, I, would, I suppose. I should say. Um, this is Lemon Lolly and Fresh Freesia. Another one which would work great is Parakeet Party and Boho Blue. How about Soft Sea Foam and Lost Lagoon? And of course Pool Party and Orchid Oasis. And I'm going to recreate my bookmark and the envelope today in using Pool Party and Orchid Oasis. And as usual all the information is to be found on my blog. You can read all about it. Right, the bookmark. First of all, you need some coloured cardstock and some basic white. And the coloured cardstock piece is two and a quarter inches. I'm going to cut that first, two and a quarter. Which is... Um, 5.7 millimeters and then 6 inches so 15.2 and then you want a piece of basic white which is just a quarter inch smaller on all sides so it was two and a quarter then you go to two inches in centimeters that would be 5.1 and then five and three quarters which would be it says it's 16.6, .6, but that can't be right. It should be 6 millimeters shorter. So that would be 14.6, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, then I'll show you how I cut the corners for the top of the bookmark. And I use my grid paper for that. I put it on my grid paper and then with a ruler and a pencil, um, I take these half inch marks. So there's a line going there and a line going there. So you put your ruler against those two points and you draw a line. Same thing here. And you can cut those off. Along the pencil lines. And you do the same thing with your piece of basic white. And as you can see, these fit together beautifully. I'm going to stamp. And I'm going to use the bird's eye view stamp set. I've used the stack of books, this bird and the glasses. And I'm going to stamp in Memento, Tuxedo Black. And since I'm going to be stamping... Oh, and before I do any stamping, I need some masks because you stamp the stack of books on top of each other. Here I have two masks that I've made before. I'll show you how you can make a mask. You need some masking paper, obviously. And here is mine, and this is a scrap which I can use. So you stamp the image that you want to be masking onto the masking paper, and there's a break there, you see? So I'm stamping across that. 
but it's easy to peel off. Clean my stump. And then I'm going to fussy cut this mask. So now I'm ready to stamp. I have three masks now. You could make do with one mask even. Two is comfortable. You don't need three, but I just made one to show you. So the first one I'm stamping here towards the bottom. And then I put a mask on top. And I'm going to stamp partially over that mask. So I've created another stack of books and then I put another mask on top. I'll use the new mask that I've made, you see, because there's the break there. It's very easy to remove that backing paper. Put a mask on again and stamp the third stack of books. Make sure that with Memento you ink up your stump really well and make sure that your um, pad is juicy. Okay, roughly there. And press down well so that you hit the edges of the mask as well. Then I'm going to stamp the bird. I'm checking. This is a photopolymer stamp so it's easy to see whether there's enough ink on my stamp. And give the ink time to transfer to the paper and the glasses as well, last. Again, I'm checking if there's plenty of ink on the stamp, and there is, and then give the little bird some reading glasses. Okay, cleaning my stamps. And then I can remove the masks. This one I've used more often, so that is easy to um, remove it. Oh, if you think the masks are too sticky, what could help is if you put them on your hand or your arm once or twice, then you remove some of the stickiness and it's easier to get it off your paper, if you're worried about that. I'm going to colour this, and the point with Memento is that it has to dry really well before you start using blends. So this is one I've made before and I'm going to put this one over there because I'm leaving that to dry and I'm going to hand colour this and I've used plenty of colours. I'll colour this by hand and when I've done that I'll be back with you. I'll, I'll show you one. I'll start with the blue, just one of the books. It's easy with your blends. And you get such beautiful results because they are blends and you can blend in the colour. So this is the lighter Orchid Oasis and I use the dark one for accents. See I make this banding on the book a bit darker and then I create some shadow near the bottom of the book. Almost as if this stack is shaded by the book on top. And this is how you go around doing it. I'll show you. I have Orchid Oasis, Cajun Craze, Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party for the books. And then for the bird I have Pool Party, um, Granny Apple Green and this was Daffodil Delight. And I've used some Pool Party to create the illusion of uh, floor on which the books rest. I've coloured the top of the bookmark and I'll show you why I use two pieces of paper because when you use the blend, you see, it'll bleed through the paper so you want something underneath to hide that. Then I'm going to put the two together 
and I'm using just two strips of seal plus and the liquid glue. You want it to adhere well because this will be used intensively by somebody who reads books. So While the glue is still wet, you can move this about a bit and check whether you have equally wide margins all over. And then push down onto where the really tacky tape is and then you can stick it down. Now I'm going to put a hole in the top and use some of the gingham ribbon. And I've made this which is the same size, two inches, and this is about one and a half inches, I suppose. And I, as you can see, I drew a line on that. And I'm going to trace the hole so that when I punch a hole, I can be sure where the middle is of the bookmark and then punch a hole in exactly the right position. Then I need about six inches of the ribbon. Push the ribbon through. I'll use my scoring tool for that. Pull the ends through and then I like to tie a knot to give it some extra hold at the top. Then you can snip the ends just a bit shorter. And I'm using my cigarette lighter to make sure the ends don't fray. And that's the bookmark finished. And now for the little envelope. I'll just get rid of my ribbon first. I'm going to use a piece of pool party and I have a new sheet here and you need a piece which is eight by five and a half inches so I'll first cut the five and a half and then I'll cut eight and then first I'm going to put in a score line With a short side top, am I doing this correctly? Let me just think. Um, no, with a long side top. Oh, this is confused. I'm confusing myself. Here's my prototype. I want to be stamping there. So, with a long side top, yep, I'm going to score at one inch. That's it. And at seven and a half, but you can also use a score line here at the half inch mark in centimeters with a long side top that would be two and a half and 19, 19 centimeters. This is a half inch flap, so 1.2 centimeters roughly, because I'm going to use this as a guide for some stamping. I'm going to stamp the stack of books and the bird. On the envelope I'll show you. See? So I'm going to stamp in the same colour ink. This is Pool Party, so I'm using Pool Party again. Just forgot to take my pad out, sorry. But here I am, it's quite near. So behind me in fact. So I'm inking up the stamp and I'll start here and stamp the stack of books three times and then the little bird on top stamp it a bit towards the right on that stack then it will be in the right position on the envelope and the glasses okay 
but then we'll do some more scoring. Now with the short side top and you're going to score this at one and three quarters. And at four and a quarter. In centimetres, that is, let me just check my notes, four and a half and 10.9 centimetres. See, and now the bird is, uh, when I fold this, I can see that the bird is in the right position on the envelope. Just two more score lines to fold. And then I'm going to cut. First, I'm going to cut up those score lines to that score line and now I'm going to cut in and I'm going to cut just to the right of that score line and here to the left of that score line and then move my scissors towards the corner by turning it a bit because when you fold the envelope together like this you want this to be a bit shorter so that this flap folds over easily and at the top it's the same thing really, so you cut up the score lines and here you can wedge a bit further or about one eighth of an inch, you can measure if you want to because you want this low enough so that people can see there's something inside the envelope. So now I'm cutting, I'll, I'll take a larger pair of scissors. So I'm cutting from that pencil mark to the corner. Here too, from the pencil mark to the corner. Now you have to wedge and here on the envelope I'm wedging Oh, a quarter inch and here again about one eighth of an inch so if you want to be really neat about it you can measure it and I do want to be neat because I think the envelope should look good as well so again from my pencil mark to the corner I'm wedging if you just do this run at least if I do this randomly it'll end up really one will be wider than the other so that doesn't look good at least I don't think it does put my scissors over here pencil two right then when you fold it together you see the shorter bit goes over the wider bit so I'm putting tear and tape on the wider part some here on the inside for the bottom And now it's easy to put it together because you can remove the backing paper and fold this over. And you see your lash will end up in the middle and fold over the bottom. And you have a pretty envelope with a really nice bookmark. That's it for today. You can find all the details of this project on my blog and the description is in the description box below. If you'd like to see more of my videos there are some suggestions there. If you liked this video I would love for you to like it or subscribe. Let's put the algorithm to work. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye, tot ziens!